Hey guys, back to the Moz Bar for this tip here. Uh, so Sabrina just sent out a link to our first Refinery29 article and I was curious to see if the links back to your Tingo or link, I don't know how many there are, was no followed. So uh, I'm going to use the Moz Bar to get the answer to this. And one feature I haven't highlighted yet is this highlight feature which is really cool because you can choose to highlight all followed links, all no followed links, all external links, or all internal links, or any combination thereof. So if I click no followed here, now you can see that this is highlighted. And if I scroll down, so far so good. This didn't show up as pink. If I click followed, you can see, oh, okay, these are green and the no followed links are pink. And you can see that the link to your Tango is followed, which is great. I thought these links would be no followed. You can see down here links that are no followed. So this is a really great tool to use. You can also look for uh, particular keywords. So if I wanted to just search for your Tango, for example, now, any reference to your tango is going to be highlighted in yellow, as is demonstrated here. And now, if I turn this on, you can see your tango here, your tango here, and that's probably it for references to your tango. But we'll just scroll down. Oh, that's it. But this is a good way to see how well a particular article is optimized for a term to see very quickly and easily how many times it's used and also to check for over optimization. So if I did a search for say, let's say this article was about love quotes and I did a search for love quotes and there were 14 references to love quotes, I would suspect that that's a bit over optimized. Anyway, so this is how you can use the highlighter in a very practical example.